Hi, let's talk about task apps. So when we're trying to think through the tasks of a job, and we're working with job coaches, we're trying to determine if somebody can follow tasks on their own, how many tasks can they follow on their own, and how far can they work without needing somebody to come intervene and help them. So when you're looking at task gaps, there's, there's quite a few problems. Number one, they can be very overwhelming. If you go into either the Google store or the Apple store and look for task apps, you're gonna find tons and tons. And you really just can't tell by looking at screenshots which are the ones for you. So you gotta download them, you gotta set them up, you gotta practice with them. It can be pretty daunting. The second problem with task apps is they're complicated. So even the simplest ones um, might be more than you need when you're really just trying to see if it's an appropriate solution. And then finally, there's not very many free ones. They range from 99 cents to $10. So you can invest a lot of money and then find out that it's not even an appropriate tool for your person to use. So if somebody can't use their phone and can't use a task app, then you're gonna scale down to other options like a talking photo album or some of the other, um, like a step pad, some of the other devices that are to help with initiation and all the way down to laminated cards uh, on a ring or, or pictures, right? But if somebody can use their phone and isn't distracted by it, then the task apps might be something you wanna just explore. So first question to ask yourself is what I just said. Is their phone a distraction? Can they look at a list on their phone and not go off and start playing a game? One thing that might help is turning off notifications for alerts so that they're not getting interrupted by uh, texts or emails. You also can adjust the do not disturb settings so that job coaches or parents can still get through but you've turned off other notifications. So consider your do not disturb settings. Um, but then you wanna basically see, can a task app work for them? Now, some task apps require you to set up a sequence of tasks that have to be done in order. But rarely is there a perfect morning, a perfect afternoon, or a perfect work shift where everything can be done in the exact same order every time. So a great way to begin with a task app where tasks don't need to be done necessarily in a certain order is the Our Groceries app. And I'm gonna show you that right now. Our Groceries app is a family sharing grocery list app. And basically a person sets it up, that's the owner of the app. So the parent or the job coach who is the owner. That's important because only the owner can delete things off the list. That's a great feature because if you've spent a lot of time setting up all the breakdowns uh, tasks at a job, you don't want somebody to go in and quickly delete them because they don't understand how the app works. So only the owner can delete things permanently off the list. The owner creates the stores or the categories of lists and then shares the app out with the people that are gonna be using it. As a person uses the app and they mark things off, it comes off instantly and you'll see that. So let me show you what this app looks like. So here's the Our Groceries app. When I open up the app, you can see items one through five. I've already set up some pre-done stores or task lists. The first one is called Morning Before School. You can see that there's eight items in that list. So if I click on Morning Before School, you can see that I have numbered these tasks because I'm assuming that the morning routine needs to be done in order. So I have things like get dressed, brush teeth, take the dog out, eat your breakfast, right? Now, as you perform those actions and you mark them off, they move down to the bottom of the screen and they're under the crossed off line. The parent or guardian or job coach can instantly see on their own phone app when these items are getting marked off. 
And to reset at the end of the, of the day for tomorrow, you just tap them again on the bottom and they will move back up to the top. I do wish there was a quick reset. So then I have an afternoon routine called after school. So you can see here I have items like take the dog out, eat a snack, do your homework, take the chicken out to defrost, sweep the floor, take out the garbage, clean your bathroom. So a few chores, doing your homework and making sure the dog goes out. So if the parent sees that everything is marked off except for do your homework, this can alleviate some of the checking in. They can see on their app that things are being accomplished and being marked off, but it looks like this student is procrastinating do your homework. So this is the time where mom or dad might send them a text and say, hey, looks like you're putting off your homework. Why don't you make that a priority and go sit down and do it? So I've made one called work tasks. And you'll notice here, this one doesn't have any numbers because I'm assuming that these are tasks that might be done in an office where you're cleaning up and doing uh, small jobs, but they don't necessarily have to be done in a particular order. So there's things like down here on the bottom, wash the front windows inside and out. Well, if it's raining outside, you might not do that one, but you could go refill paper in the printers or empty the trash cans in the lobby or check the mail. And then as you're finished and you need to reset them again for tomorrow, you just tap them again. So one thing that has been asked is, can your phone read this out loud? Well, the answer is yes and no. On an Apple iPhone, I've had mixed luck with the app reading out loud using the speak screen accessibility feature. And you see that on the free version here, I have an advertisement on the top and it will read the advertisements. So that could be distracting. But again, if you find that this app is the app for you, then you would just pay for it and get rid of the advertisements. It does read a lot nicer in Android operating systems, but for an iPhone for speak screen, you just swipe down with two fingers and it will read out loud. With Android, you'll use the talk back accessibility feature. So basically here you can see the home screen again. This just shows the purpose of this app. I've got stores like Home Depot, Publix, Target, Walmart. And so my family, if they think of something that they need next time I'm at Target or next time I'm at Home Depot, they can add it to the app and all of us can see it but I'm taking this app a step further and using it for job coaching and job readiness as a way to see how many tasks can somebody do on their own without a job coach. Do they mark things off appropriately when it's done? And uh, this can be monitored by a parent or guardian. And then if this works, maybe you would then take the time to graduate to some of the more complicated task apps. And I'll put a list up there because there's a ton of them. Thanks, and I hope this helps.